back at it again. Uh, as you can tell, we are not in the shop today. Um, we come over to my mom's house and uh, Brian wants to try to dig up an old truck. I showed y'all his uh, uh, black and green truck in the last video. So we're gonna try to resurrect it maybe next year, hopefully. And this is where we're starting. Oh God. Oh God, what? I told him this is where we're starting. I heard that. This is said, oh God. What's the old God for? Look at what we're starting with. I know. It's <laughs> way All right, guys, some of you guys might notice this truck. You might not, but for the ones that know, <laughs> here it is. But uh, we're fixing to rob the spindles off of it and the tires off of it and swap over to this truck. And Brian brought a bunch of parts and we're gonna throw them on there. And we can't find the key, so we may have to break an ignition switch, but we're gonna try to get this thing running today. And when's the last time this thing run, Brian? Well, that was... It's just so butchered. So, so that was five or six years ago. So just say five years ago, something like that. Hell, did they even make slammers that long ago? I don't know how old these are. They should have had the... The slam logo on it, but that stuff's very faint on these bags. I don't really care about the bags, I just want the cups. They are an offset, bulk cup, and they got the access hole. This is gonna be handy. I would like to save the doors off this truck one day, and the rest of this can go to scrap. That's the only thing I would keep would be the doors. Just because they got a cool paint job, wash them up real good, hang them on the shop wall. Yeah. Keep something alive. Because <laughs> you know people like to tear these things apart. And I'm gonna make it my own. So this is how you end up with it. I end up with parts to it. Yeah. My favorite is when you see the ones on Facebook on market on a Facebook group or something, you see a guy. I just bought this truck and does anybody know the history on it? I'm gonna Update it and give it a few updates and make it my own. And I'm just like, let's put let's put a poll out and see how long it is before it ends up like this. Yeah. <laughs> and you never see it again? And never see it again. Well, the next time you see it, it's on Mighty's page. It's a before and after. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, let me speak that shit on me. That's my favorite thing. Yeah. How many of them end up on Mighty's pages before and after? Speaking of Mighty, I don't know if he watches our YouTube channel or not, but uh, he should. if he wants to see an overview of the truck, more pictures of it, yeah, here's what's left of it, which is not much. Daily dragger. No roof skin. Yeah, like terrible. All it's been good for is robbing parts off of. That's it. All the, all the parts that I've 
All the decent stuff's been rubbed far long, long ago. Yep. You see the comment on the last video? Uh-uh. Talking about, are, what, are we owned by the county? <laughs> One guy working and two propped up. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> I keep going back and, and reading comments on videos. Just yeah. out of the random, I like to go back and read what everybody says. Even on older videos, I'll hit, I'll click them and pause it and then just open the comments just to see if anybody said anything cool. Yeah. Supervisor up there. Hey, what are you doing? Bring me a dang... Bring me a hammer. Hammer. Stat. Bring me a hammer. <laughs> you got no thumbs? You got teeth? <laughs> He's like, I got no thumbs. <laughs> Whoa, now. <laughs> He's went square up, son. I'm out. And I was thinking, hey, if we don't find all the nuts down here for singles, there's nuts on that one. Wasn't a single nut on that one. <laughs> Not a single. Single nut. No. But they seem to be a few laying around. Mm -hmm. Ow. What the hell is that? That hurt. If not, they might be up there on the wiper calendar or some of these leaves. They're actually laying in here in the damn lower cup. In the lower control line. All three of them for this side. I found two for that side and three for this side. There you go. All we need on this side. There's one threaded on the tie rod in over here, one threaded on the That's lower That's one of them I found was tie rod. And then the uh, the two I found I threaded on over there. Did you paint all the engine stuff yellow or was it already light? I did. Just uh, keep bouncing around, it won't come off. But them threads are boogered. Them threads on that ball joint are boogered. And I got a frame rail in the way. Brown, I like that fancy uh, AC delete there. I didn't do that. There ain't much I did on this old truck. Other than drive it. Other than drive it. God, I drove this truck. So you didn't Lambo the doors, neither? I did not. <laughs> I always hated that part of this truck. I refused to open Everybody's like, open the doors. And I'm like, no, do not open the doors. I did drive down the down old... Uh, me and old Dave one time was in this truck and was going down Tybee, going down the main drag on Tybee and had the doors open. And then we tried to open them and ride down River Street and that was a mistake. You cannot open Lambo doors and ride down River Street. That road is so cobblestone crap. <laughs> and I was like, it's gonna rip the doors off, close them, close them. <laughs> that was back when it was purple and had spinners on it. God, I'm glad I don't have any pictures of that. Spanners. It had spanners on it. It had a, a set of 18 inch Dub Bellagios on it. Uh, explanation, please. <laughs> I don't know. Are they welded together? They yes. are welded together. They are welded together. I don't know why. <laughs> what is it? You know what? Is the camera rolling right now? It is. Okay. We are going to get to this rear one time, at least sometime today, once this thing's moved out. And I yeah. want to pan around this rear setup back here and let people see how you don't <laughs> do a four link and how you don't do cantilever. Uh, maybe it was one of those, you know, those little hand strengthening things. <laughs> And weld two, two wrenches together, weld two wrenches together so you can sit there and go, oh, yeah, strong hands. Ugh, I ain't got a damn clue. Well, we'll tell the story of this show. We'll go further into the story yeah. of this show. All right, guys, we got it loaded on the trailer. Um, we're fixing to run through town, try to pick up some parts at O'Reilly, some fuel line and stuff like that. 
and uh we're gonna get it back to the house and push it in the shop and uh see if we can't get it to run again see y'all in a little bit Alright guys, we got it in the shop and uh, Brian's trying to clean some of the rat crap and everything out out the inside of this thing. And uh, once we get it cleaned out, then we're going to start putting some parts on it and see if we can get it fired off. I wish the door opened further. <laughs> hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. It does open further. You just got to pick it up. <laughs> Do it. Do it. There you go, now it's out of the way. You got a, you got a prop? See what for? <laughs> we can find something. I ain't getting underneath that thing. It's propped up. That thing weighs a ton. I should say you don't want no guillotine? This is not how you build an S10. Yeah. Not with angle iron welded together to make a tube. Or angle iron welded into a tube to make a back half. Or putting your cantilever bars backwards. Or no bushing. No bushing. No bushing. This is just a a loose bolt put through a hole with barely any thread. That one, same. Those are old tractor bars. That is not how you make pivots. The lowers are tractor bars. The only thing cool about it was the the top wishbone and the rear axle housing said Thorbeck across the top of it. So somebody had bought just that piece and made all this crap. <laughs> Don't do meth, kids. All right, get back to cleaning. We got a lot of work to do. I even do. Brad's making a mess in my shop. That's all right. So you said you're gonna spray some looby dooby down in there or something, some brake clean or something. Freaking fire we didn't start the fire. Do we, uh, do we still have to do a fire extinguisher? <laughs> no fire extinguisher yet. Safety effort. <laughs> We're holding true to that. Uh, uh, you want to go uh, pretty soon? Get this channel kicking off and get the thing poked off the box and let somebody send us a fire extinguisher. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I would get a post office box if somebody wants to send us something. Yeah. They'd be like, these idiots don't know what they're doing. Let me send them the proper equipment here. Use this, dummy. So, the guy I traded this truck to, the truck I traded from him, the truck I received in the trade, had the power wire from the starter run through a hole in the firewall under the seat of the truck. Then it left under the seat and went through the back cab wall. I noticed the wire going into the cab was red. Coming out the back cab wall was black. And I was like, how are they two different colors? Pulled the seat out and found two big wires clamped together on, in a hose clamp wrapped in electrical tape. Just like that? Just like this. And now well, the hose clamp was done rubbed through the tape. Nine months later, when I get this truck back from that guy, the battery was under the hood when I got rid of it. I find this, and I'm like, why does why is that guy's signature move to put two big pieces of wire together with a hose clamp and then wrap them in electrical tape? He likes fire. Again, don't do meth, kids. All right, well, Brian's doing that. Um, the first challenge we had to overcome was that the steering column that was in the truck, we could not find the keys to. So we have stolen the steering column out of the 89 and if anybody's wondering it does fit the plug-ins all work so now it's got 94. keys 94. 94 okay excuse the 94 me 94 was the first year of the round body s10 but it was also the last year of obd1 yeah so the steering column and all the electronics in these trucks still worked 
as they did in the old truck. The steering column's got that weird electronic or weird ignition switch that's down the column. Right. Like the first gen. Yeah. So that's a first gen column in a second gen truck. Yeah. It's the only year model that'll work in. But it does work, and now we do have keys, and we have ignition switch again. And y'all see that good old 2000s TV over there in the glove box? That's fancy. Yeah. And check out that fire wall. that uh, headliner. The headliner? Yeah. See the headliner. That's my favorite part of the whole truck. The flamed? The flamed 20 headliner? Come on. Please, buddy. 2000s mini truck. Late 90s mini truck. The only thing that survived, just about. <laughs> I know that's crazy how, look, how good it looks. Look, the eight pillars, the headliner, the visors, and that glove box door are all tweed wrapped. It yeah. So good. Which the windows were up the whole time, so. Well, yeah, but I mean, I don't want to I got the truck in 2008. So, and it was all out of I got it. It still looks just as good as it is. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Sitting at Mama's house in the, in the woods yeah. for five years or whatever. It was covered up. The windows were up. I mean, yeah, wraps got in there, but obviously they didn't get to the headliner and tune that up. But no. Yeah, they did. They survived good. The the tweed stuff looks so good. Everything else. Not the so tweed much. in that pink truck, though, <laughs> looks terrible. Did you see that? Not so much in here or here, but right about here. <laughs> Joe, you got to play. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna just yeah, just pass it here. I'm just going to add more electrical tape to that goofy thing he made. For temporary. So it, so it doesn't lay on the frame. And this will be temporary just to try to get this thing. Just to see if she'll print. And I don't want this big old hose clamp that's already tore through all the tape to touch the frame around and ground out. But I don't understand. Oh, one of the coolest things was the truck that I traded to receive. After I traded him this for another truck. And I was blinded by the fact that it was body. And I was like, oh my God, it's so cool. It's a body in second gen. I, I got to have it. So I traded him this, which was beautiful. It was a very nice little truck. I can't say beautiful, but it was a nice little truck. When I got home with the one that I traded from him and realized that all the air valves, the label on them said 110 volts. They were all ran to a power inverter mounted on the back cab wall behind the seat. <laughs> There was a power inverter mounted to the back wall that ran all the valves and came through the switch box, this weird little homemade switch box. So there was 120 volts of live power inside that little switch box. It was in your lap at all times. And I'm like, that's terrifying. It was and the, the wires run from the inverter to the valves and to the switch box and everything was chopped up and it used up orange extension cord. Damn. So it had plugs on the ends that plugged into the back of the power inverter and it went out to the switch box and had wire nuts and Wire nuts and electrical tape, butt splices everywhere. It was a nightmare. Oh, Lord. I was well, blinded. His signature just to use repurposed shit that he finds anywhere? I think his signature was meth. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Brian, Brian's going to send me some pictures of this truck back when it was all put together and a daily driver. So we'll put those in the videos right here um, so y'all can see what it used to look like. All right, so once you wrap that with tape. That's wrapped, we're good there. Right. Now I need to go back there, I'm gonna set that battery back there. Hook it up, see if we don't get any sparks of fire anywhere. Check for smoke. I wanna test the ignition switch to make sure it does work. We just said, oh, it's gonna work. It works from a second gen to a first gen. I wanna make sure now. <laughs> yeah, cause it may not work. I probably just said all that and it really doesn't work. Yeah. Well, didn't you say you had to plug it up upside down or something? I do that, flip the opposite. The two plugs were in the same orientation, they just were a, a different way on the plug. The plug was mounted on the column the other way. I'm just letting you know, if I see smoke or fire, that's somebody should get pushed out. Shit, we're just going to wire it. We're going to push it. Move the tractor. Move the tractor and push it straight out. Let it head down the hill. Down the hill with it. Hey, go, go, we're going. Raggedy. Uh, terminals off and put them two we off. Two new terminals. I'll two new terminals on here real quick, just because 
a black and a red wire. Those are both power. Both power. Yeah. They're both in that in that host clamp up there. And then these two, bolted to the frame, are both grounds. Two under one bolt. He didn't have any big power wires, so two small wires would work, I guess. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, goodness. Oh, that's electrical the way. Yeah, I think we missed the trash cans. Yeah, we missed the side boys. Headlight switch, unless, All right. that plug, so you, unless that plug on that uh, bezel you got it, or it's got a headlight switch in it. No, it don't. Well, no, I don't think it does. All right, you got a battery hooked up? Yes. All right, we're looking for smoke, looking for anything. Lights on the dash. Noise. Dash? Yeah, something the come on, on up here. I heard something clicking up here, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bump the key one time. Oh, wait. Wait, this truck never had that clutch belt pushed out. But I might have something unplugged on it. There we I go. Have. Well, that, I'd say the uh, ignition switch works. Good deal. All right, let's get some. Put coils on there. Brian's got him a brand new set of coils, brand new set of plugs, a fuel line, a fuel pump, plug wires. I'm gonna try to replace a bunch of this stuff. Let's see. That's the pump, that's the strainer for the pump. That'd be the filter under the cab if I want to climb under there and try to replace that. Not do it. What work? I don't know. I kind of feel like leaving the uh, plugs in it. In it. No, I mean you already bought new ones. Go ahead and put them in there. Yeah, I did. You want to take this little tube off? Tube? I thought about it. Need to play it or if that's okay. Yeah. I just figured it'd get out of the way. At least it's always been closed. Yeah, but it ain't watertight. Well. Mm. Oh shit. The throttle body is this whole top piece? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm. It's the whole, the throttle body is one piece. The whole top of the intake. What? Yeah. This whole top half, these bolts, it's all one piece. Wow, I didn't know that. I thought it came off. All right, okay. So, um, whatever those are. All right, Chevrolet, I see you. You don't think <laughs> we can just give it a little tappy tap? Well, he was over here forcing on it while ago, and I was. I mean, a little tappy tap directly on the on the blade. On the yeah, blade. it probably would pop it loose, but I'd like to clean all that crap out yeah. of it. Yeah. And then I'm worried about this gasket. If we take that top off, what's this gasket gonna do? Yeah. As know. long as I've owned it, that's never been a part. Okay, well, we'll do what you want to do, sir. I kind of want to, I'd like to take it apart, but then I don't want to break that seal. So let's try to wipe out what's in there and just give it a little tappy tap. Yeah, I mean, I just took a, a, pe a pecan out of there. It was sitting right there, and I took it out and put the trash can over there. Had a whole last pecan sitting there. Now it's packing. Packing, it's pronounced packing. It's packing. I already got to deal with a little small wire brush on. You can stick that up in there. TV and some 
wire yeah. wheel in and I didn't get most of the crap broke up. Now we just need to clean it all out the corners and I can keep wiping it and we can hit it with the air hose before we open the blade. We'll try to blow it all out. Look at that goo dripping out of it. Yeah. Good old goo. Hit it with a little bit of that cleaning break. Hit it with a little bit of that. Watch out, balls. Oh, wow. <laughs> it opened up. There it goes. There we go. Here, let's put a little more leaf on the other side. Because I can get it. We're not doing any welding today, so. No, we're not doing it. All right, so. I'll shoot a little bit in there. Now we have to weld. Shoot some on this side, too, right? Over there on the inside of that. Yeah, that's cool. That's fine. Okay, now we'll work it back, too. Work it back. Shop is not nurturing, so if it burns down. Wipe some of it off the sidewall. Open it back up. Oh, I, mean, I was looking for that. There it is. I don't think we own a fire station. Yeah, I think we talked about that after we set fire. I think it's black. Yeah, not bad. It's hot. Right. That'll work. As long as it'll work. As long as it'll open close. Good enough. Good enough. Snap that one on number one. The first one at the front there. We own. I'm we gonna own take a look, yes, and say the way it's set that way. Look for number one. We're gonna say it's here. We're gonna call it that one. We're gonna say that's one, four, and then two. Next longest one, we'll put that one two. Yes. That way it was four, one, two, three. Sure. It's one, two, three, four, and it's straight, right? Yes. Yeah. Do they snap? I hadn't heard neither one of them snap, but. I know they snapped on the coil. When I was stuck on the coil, it snapped. So one, two. Well, it snaps on the coil. Yeah. I'm, I'm pushing These down. These two are exactly the same length, but it doesn't really matter for three. Two. And back forth. So next thing, fuel. Fool. You want to try to see if it'll run on brake clean before you go to put a fuel pump in it and all, just to see if we need to go that far, or well. You want to go, I don't think there's anything in the line, so. I just, I don't know what we're going to get into when you see the inside of that tank. Well, it's fixing to get a pump and a filter, so if anything, if there's a bunch of crap in that tank, it's not going to suck it through the filter. It's not going to suck it through the pump. It's got to get it past the filter. And we're going to put the filter in line. Instead of going under the cab and finding it, I'll just put it right here somewhere so it comes. It's got to go through that little pre-filter, through the pump, through that filter to get there. So nothing will come there and we'll get into the end. Oh, uh, it's threaded, remember? That's why I was wondering. Oh, it's metal yeah. line. So it's underneath there somewhere. Mm -hmm. All right, so you want to try it? I mean, that's up to you. I was just asking. I'm okay with shooting a little bit of. We're in neutral? Yes. We sure we're in neutral. I might push the clutch here. Trail. All right, don't stand in front of it, Donald. <laughs> Why not? Okay, stand in front of it. <laughs> I'm ready. You're in control of the throttle blade, sir. Yeah. I'm going to open it up a little bit for you. Get a little bit in there. Push in this here clutch. Okay, put both feet in there. Same. 
Damn work the clutch and the blade. I guess. Give me a little bit more. I didn't like it one or two. I'll take it though. Six years, five to six years. I know behind Mama's house. I love it. I love it. God, I miss this old piece of shit. <laughs> oh, I miss this old turd. What's inside this bad boy gonna look like? Ah, uh, butt. Probably butt. If I had to guess. And gross. You know that old pump ain't gonna run. Hold on, get some water out. Mm. You sure you want to stick a brand new pump in that thing? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, I think Donovan put all the lights up. He's like, I want to see what's going to happen. Find the button. Ugh, gross. Yeah, I don't see rust in. I don't know, man. There's a lot of rust in there. I mean, there ain't no way to add fuel pressure to it. What do you think? I think you're gonna ruin a good pump and a sock as soon as you put gas in that and try to run it. So ask me how about, I know. So how about this for an idea? We take. I watched the video. I don't have to ask. Yeah. <laughs> How about we take? Ooh. Yeah, it's nasty. It's yeah. bad. If we were to take some kind of line, a piece of that fuel hose that connects to the side of there, and find the one that goes to and fuel drop hose, that in the gas jug, and drop this, connect it to here, the new pump with a hose clamp, and just drop it in the gas tank. That's gas what I was thinking. And run the wires out the top of it. Hook them to the wires on the. That's exactly what I was thinking. And just let it pump come out of a clean tank. Mm -hmm. At least it would get the proper fuel pressure yeah and we could plug the return line because i don't even think it uses the return line i don't know if it ever did with this old truck and you can get me another one of these we found these and i can go actually get online and get another gas tank for i think they're less than 100 bucks yeah this damn gas tank but what i wanted to do was tell donald i've still got that fuel cell that came out of shit tastic and larry had machined that top ring in the top of it i'm pretty sure i'm not 100 on that if he watches he can reply he can tell us but I'm pretty sure he machined that ring to hold a Ford fuel pump assembly to drop into that fuel cell. We we'll figure out a way to stick it back in and try to put a Chevrolet sitting unit in it and use that aluminum fuel cell at the house. That's right. So, yeah. I'll keep this, take it home with me, see how it sizes up to that. Thing. I mean, really and truly, you could put a Ford fuel pump in it and just could. figure out the wiring. Yeah, absolutely could. It's going to be the same. It's That's probably what I'm saying. Use that same, that generic, mm -hmm. very much like a Walboro. Pretty sure the Walboro even comes with that same plug. It does. There. Um, pretty sure the Ford uses the same generic pump. So I could just get, we could look online and we could get a Ford sending unit to drop in that tank. That's right. And use that pump I've got. And just look up your wiring diagram for color code and just. It would just be two wires, that black and gray. Well, right I'm there. talking about for your f fuel sending unit for if you wanted level, to yeah, level one off. might use the same. Look at that. Because the Ford is going to have a different color code for sure. Yeah. Here it's purple and black purple and black with a white stripe and then this one's got gray and black for the pump which plugs into the bottom of there too <laughs> but yeah if you want to do that for now we can I would. that's probably the best take, idea to take those two wires right there and just uh use them and make them extended yeah maybe i got butt connectors on heat shrink and all that and yeah we'll just drop it down in your little five gallons over there and that guy that guy. You drop it in that guy. Drop it down in there and we can try to get it running that way. Yeah. Right here beside the truck. We got how many feet of fuel line did I buy a while ago? Eight foot? Eight foot. Eight foot of fuel line. We can snake it out of there and drop it right in the top. So here's my weird thought. Is I just crimped that and I know that the crimper broke through the plastic when yeah. squeezing it. I could feel it. You could feel it breaking through. So really the heat shrink's not really sealing right in the middle where I squeezed it. Well, I got big pieces of heat and shrink if you want to slip uh, it over. It's fine, it does not. 
This is gonna be just fine. Now, the heat shrinks, the, the butt connectors I found, I got some at the house, and I'm sure you've already seen them, is the ones that's got the little solder band in them. Mm -hmm. You slide them all the way down the wire, take your two wire, twist them together, slide it up where the solder band is over your twisted joint, you just start heating it. Right. And that solder, band, and then it shrinks around it. I really like those, isn't that? That's a damn connector that came with the pump. It is. <laughs> We're gonna keep that. We definitely need to keep that because it will be used on the, the new sender and all that. Right now I'm making one. Okay. Well, what do we need out of this? He's making just a temporary pump. one. Just the pump? Just the pump. Yeah, you got, you know you got new, that little section of hose, pair of clamps too. Yes, we need all that for when we get the new sender. Keep all that and uh, put that in the bottom drawer of that toolbox down there with my other fuel pump. That way I'll know, we'll know where it's at. That's a good spot for it. Somewhere where we know where it's at. We all know where it's at if we need to. Are we filming right now? We are. That way if we ever need to go back, maybe somebody that watches one day will be like, what the hell we do with them fuel pumps? And somebody be in the comments talking about, it's in the bottom of that toolbox, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when you put it there. I remember watching that video. I'm gonna Vanna White this thing before we put it in the box. Before we put it down here. Everybody can see it went in the bottom drawer of the toolbox. Right there. Everybody remembers. Our dumbasses wouldn't know which video to watch. To. No, we would not know where to find it. Somebody's going, somebody would be watching that new video where we say, where the hell's our fuel pump? And they'd be like, oh, I just watched that old video like five minutes ago. It's in the bottom drawer of that toolbox. So, I think you probably are going to need to hook up a piece of fuel line and at least run it from your return and stick it back down in that jug. Yeah, I probably will. I'd probably Just so it don't squirt fuel out on the floor. Just in case it never, it, hell, all these years it might be using the return. I had no idea. That's what I'm saying. And it never took all that stuff apart to know if it used the return. It could be. God, I can't believe it. Could, could be cramped under the truck somewhere for all we know. <laughs> yeah. There was times when you'd be sitting in traffic and it just smelled like raw fuel. And I'm like, where does that smell come from? It could have been coming out the vent because the old PCB and vent system and all that's gone. The canister, yeah. charcoal canister, if they had it in 94, all that's gone back there. There's a vent line hanging out the frame rail back there. Ugh. I still can't believe this raggedy. Somebody went to Myrtle Beach and back one weekend <laughs> without a single problem. That was the last big trip it ever made. And that was back in like 2011. Still need to figure out which one of these is the fuel, which one's the turn. They normally ain't the same size. One is bigger than the other, you're right. One is bigger than the other. So, yeah. the bigger is the feed. The bigger is the feed. And the smaller is the return. Yes. Yep, even the connectors are bigger or smaller. Smart motherfucker. <laughs> well, I just had to do it on my truck, so that's smart motherfucker. Hopefully, I'm a battery drawn. Battery hasn't hooked up the whole time, so. I don't. Well, it never did before. I don't know what it's doing now. I don't know. And the key's off. We ain't seen no smoke shows, so that's good. Yeah. The key's off, and it was connected the whole time we were doing the plug wires and all that. Who took the diff cover off? Well, no, I didn't. I didn't take oh, it off. No way. That's a different diff cover. I've, I've found the diff cover sitting over there because it was dripping so bad. There's already a mess under it. I thought it fell off. I no. Was, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, damn, did the diff cover fall off? No, I grabbed that one from that pile and put it under it as a drip tray. Thought when you sneaky duppy. Well, uh, pour a little water in the radiator. Yeah, I do. If we're going to run it. You want to turn the key on and see if that pump even comes on? That's kind of what I was fixing to try out. Just missing for it. Yep. <laughs> nice. All right, good deal. Well, yeah. Let's get some water in this radiator. Is it going to? You don't have to keep it up. Oh, that's just a relief. All right, y'all give us just a minute, get some water in this radiator, and uh, we're going to see if we can get this thing to idle on its own. Oh, I'd love that. Yeah, put the five gallons of gas right by the driver's door. Right by the driver's door. Right? Yeah. I got to sit in here with it. That's right. It'll be fine. We'll turn it on a couple times, let cycle. Yeah, it's going to be fine. 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 Yeah, it's going to be fine.
See any leaks up there, Donald? Any fuel? Oh. Return. It's returning. Is it? You sure? I think so. Sound like it was under the hood. It though. sound like back. I can hear it right behind me going boop, 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 boop. So I want somebody right here. Hold on. Yeah, it sounded like fuel squirting up here somewhere. Maybe not. Maybe it was just pushing air out the line. I don't see anything wet. The floor's not wet. Like, I don't even smell raw gas in the shop. Yeah. Even with this other roof over here. Um, what I think it is, is it was building pressure and sitting in that pressure back. Uh -huh. It sounded like I could hear it pissing in here. So. Try it again. Can you see the look? Yeah, I can hear it. Yeah, that's it. If you want to pull up front, look it up front, one back here, one from the tank. Uh -huh. Ow! Shin bone. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit. Yeah, it's sitting in the air back. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry. See y'all. We out. Y'all comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Lots of comments. We love comments. Comments were awesome. Let's talk about stuff. And then I can't read. <laughs> Later.